Dr. Steve Christ is getting ready for his first full year at Jim Thorpe Area High School. He just started teaching band, choir, and theater at the high school this past February and says he never planned for a career in public education. I thought I was going to be an orchestral clarinet player and I thought I would be with an orchestra and I'm honestly happier. He felt a calling to educate the next generation of students, a calling that isn't as popular as what it used to be. We get to be the parent in the absence of the parent, which is an awesome gift and so super fun, but at the same time, like, that puts a lot on the plate. According to the Penn State Center for Education's most recent study, the state has seen a more than 60% decline in teaching certificates since 2010, a concern for administrators like Principal Tom LaCisco when trying to fill open positions. Going into the interview, we may, where we used to have maybe five to eight candidates, if we have one to three, if we have three, we're lucky. While staff shortages in public education are hurting schools all throughout northeastern and central Pennsylvania, East Stroudsburg Area School District has been one of the few to see an uptick in new teachers. Since uh, the start of the school year last year, uh, we have managed to recruit and hire uh, 60 new staff members to our district. Their strategy is to incentivize college students who are on track to get their teaching certificate in a few years. Who've gone to school here in the county, they've attended a local university like East Stroudsburg University, and now they're starting their first year of teaching in our school district. Despite the lack of people wanting to get certified, Dr. Christ is still optimistic for the future of education. A lot of the decisions I think why people are leaving education is based on all of these short-term problems instead of playing the long-term social-emotional goals of, you know, actually having an impact on your community. Hoping others will have a calling like he did to be a teacher in the public school system. Claire Alfrey, Newswatch 16.